So, we have constructed the said J3 which contain the three distinct class 0 bar, 1 bar and 2 bar. Now, we are going to introduce some composition on the said J3 and we are going to check under that operations it is a form a, it does form a groove or not. So, we will just first define uh, some operations and it is a binary operation or not first check it so first we basically define at first we define additions so just let me write down the composition table so composition table so composition table so here we go we basically define the addition so, first write down the elements in 1, 0 bar, 1 bar and 2 bar. Here also write down 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar. And here we basically define the addition. So, what we do, the, how we define the addition? So, what will be 0 bar plus 0 bar? So, just let me write out here. So, 0 bar plus 0 bar can be written it will be 0 plus 0 whole bar which is basically again 0 bar so it gives me 0 bar so what about 0 bar plus 1 bar so 0 bar plus 1 bar gives me 0 plus 1 bar so it gives me again 1 bar so it again gives 1 bar so what about 0 bar plus 2 bar so, it gives me again 0 plus 2 whole bar. So, it is 2 bar. So, in this way, we get 2 bar over here. So, similarly, 1 bar plus 0 bar will be 1 bar. 1 bar plus 1 bar will be 2 bar. Now, what is 1 bar plus 2 bar? So, 1 bar plus 2 bar is 1 plus 2 whole bar, which is 3 bar. Now, what we know basically 3 bar if I divide it 3 by 3 so if I divide it 3 by 3 3 gives gives remainder so remainder re sorry for spelling remainder 0 when we divide it 8 by 3. So, 3 bar, because we get the remainder 0, when 3 is divided by 3, so that is equals to 0 bar. So, we get 0 bar over here. So, if we get any numbers, just divided it by 3 uh, for the set J3 and we get the number. So, 2 bar plus 0 bar again 2 bar, 2 plus 0 is 2. Now, 2 bar plus 1 bar is again. So, 2 bar plus 1 bar is 2 plus 1, which is 3 bar. Now, divided 3 by 3, we get the remainder 0. So, we get 0 bar. Now, what about 2 bar plus 2 bar? So, it gives us 2 plus 2 whole bar, which is 4 bar. Now, 4 bar, now divide it 4 by 3. Well, the remainder will be 1. So, 4 bar is 1. So, we, because obviously 4 is 1 into 3 plus 1. So, 1 is the remainder. So, 4 bar is 1 bar. So, just let me write over here we get 0 bar and here we get 1 bar. So, you can see that after composition all values 0, 1 and 2 bar are from the state J3. So, this composition is a binary composition. So, it is, let, first let me erase all this part and write down that the addition is a binary composition on the state J3. Okay. So, plus plus what we define over here is a binary composition binary composition 
on J3. Why? Because after addition, all elements we get are from the set J3. So, plus is a binary composition on J3. So, next find uh, what is the identity elements. So, I have already talked to you how to find the identity elements. First, find out the rows similar to the upper row 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar. So, this row is similar to the upper one. Again, which column is similar to this column? Obviously, 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar is similar to this column. And the common element will be the identity element. So, here you can easily check that 0 bar is the identity element. It is element. So, element. So, next, can I find the inverse of all elements? So, how to find the inverse of all elements? So, first, find out where are the identity elements. So, here we have an identity element. So, just change my color. So, here we have an identity element. Here also we have an identity element. Here we have an identity element. So, after that, go in this direction and also go in the upper direction. So, we will find the inverse of 1 is basically 2. So, 1 has the inverse, inverse, inverse 2 bar. So, similarly, if I go over there, you also find that we talk about in our class how to find. So, inverse of 2 bar is 1 bar. So, 2 bar has the inverse 1 bar. So, what about the inverse of 0 bar? So, it, you can see over here if we go in this direction and in this direction. So, you can easily check that 0 bar has the inverse 0 bar. So, 0 bar is the self inverse. So, each element has the inverse. Also, we can easily check that the operation we defined is an associative. Just uh, check it for one element and we will just lift it others for you. So, because, so let us check that this is associative for only for I just check for three elements. So, where we go, just first let me erase the whole parts. So, what about if I add 0 bar plus 1 bar plus 2 bar. So, it gives 0 bar plus 3 bar. So, 3 bar is again 0 bar. So, 0 bar plus 0 bar is 0 bar. Now, if I add 0 bar plus 1 bar and then we will add with 2 bar. So, what we get? Here we get 0 plus 1 bar is 1 bar plus 2 bar. So, what we get is 3 bar which is 0 bar. So, you, you can see that. So, these additions and also these additions gives the same value. So, you can any, you, you can check it easily for any 3 elements of the from the set and all type of combination gives the same value. So, this addition is an associative. So, what we found it is binary, it is associative, 0 is the identity element and each element has an inverse. So, addition, so J3 under the defined addition under the additions what we have defined now is uh, is a group so this form a group so basically we denote this addition so so this is the notation so here we going to use so note that here we additions also use addition also somewhere some in some books in some books also denoted by denoted by the sign j uh, plus 3, 3 for the group, uh, 3 for the set j3, so it is also right, that is why it is right, plus 3. So, what we write j3 plus 3 form a group, so form a group, now this group is a uh, commutative group, so how to check that, just go in the 
diagonal directions and check that if we consider after the diagonal this is symmetric or not. So, you can see that the composition family is symmetric. So, uh, in the direction if I go in this direction we get 1 by 1 bar over here, 2 bar 2 bar over here, 0 bar 0 bar over here. So, this composition is commutative. So, it is not only only a group, it is a commutative group. So, J3 plus 3 is a commutative group. Commutative group. Okay. So, next defined uh, another reposition on the set J3 and check that this form a group or not. So, we have already seen that J3 under the addition that is how we define is, uh, is a commutative group. So, next define a multiplication. So, how it is defined? So, similar type of just first let me erase the whole part over here. So, let me erase the whole part and define multiplications on the set J3. So, here we go. So, it has this part. So, write down the composition table. So, composition table again, composition, sorry for my handwriting, composition table. So, here we go. We are going to define basically multiplication. So, write down the composition tables. In upper part, we have 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar, here we go 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar and why here we define the dot. So, how it is defined? So, 0 bar dot 0 bar is basically 0 into 0 whole bar. So, it again gives 0 bar. So, it is 0 bar. So, next 0 bar into 1 bar is again 0 into 1. So, it gives again 0 bar. So, we get 0 bar again. Similarly, 0 into 2 is 0 bar. 0, 1 into 0 is 0 bar. 1 into 1 is 1 bar. 1 into 2 is. So, 1 into 2 is. Again, let me write. 1 into 2 bar is. The 1 into 2 whole bar. So, it is again 2 bar. So, it is 2 bar. So, 2 into 0 is 0 bar. 2 into 1 is 2 bar. 2 into 2 is 4 bar. So, 2 into 2 is, let me write down, 2 into 2 is 4 bar. So, 4 bar is, now we divide it 4 by 3. So, what we get? So, if I divide it 4 by 3, so 1, 3, 1. So, we get the remainder 1. So, 4 bar is basically 1 bar. So, I write down 1 bar. So, we can see that after composition all elements 0 and 1 and 2 are from the set J3. So, dot is a binary composition on the set J3. So, let me erase this part and write down that first that dot the multiplications on the set J3. So, multiplications on the set J3. So, multiplications that how we defined in the composition table so multiplication on j3 is a is a binary composition binary composition so is this under this composition of multiplications thus j3 form a group that's a big question and we're going to answer this so, now look over here, which one is the identity elements? Can you find anything uh, which is identity elements? So, just check which row is parallel to the upper row in the composition table. So, 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar, here we go, this is the upper row. So, which row is, which column is parallel to this column? The column uh, in the totally left hand side of the composition. So, which column is parallel to this column? So, 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar. So, here it says that we have get the 1. This is the common. So, 1 bar is the identity element. So, 1 bar is the identity elements. Identity elements. 
okay next each element has an inverse so what uh, just find the uh, identity elements over here so which is the inverse of 0 1 so can you find out the any inverse of 0 1 so here from here you can find that if I go in the upper directions so here we have the identity elements so where are the identity elements here we have identity elements here also we have an identity elements anywhere identity elements so, because we have find the identity values, we go in the upper directions, also in the left direction. We can find the inverse of one bar is one bar. If I go in the upper direction, also in the go in the left, we if we will find that the inverse of two bar is two bar. But can you find the inverse of zero bar? So, is there any elements? If I multiply with x, uh, sorry if you get any x bar if i multiply with 0 by can i get 1 bar is there anything else so you can find that if i multiply any x bar with 0 by we get 0 bar so 0 bar is 1 bar which is totally absurd so this is impossible thing so 0 bar has no inverse so 0 bar has no inverse because we cannot find any elements if I multiply it with 0 bar we get 1 bar so 0 bar has no inverse so we find an elements in the set J3 which is 0 bar and which has no inverse because we find one elements which has no inverse so multiplications on the set J3 does not form a group because to form a group each element must have an inverse okay so zero bar because it's a multiplication is a binary composition it's all right we have an identity elements and the multiplication that's also all right but we get an one elements which has no inverse so this does not form a group so write it down so first let me erase this part so remember this very this is very important for your exam so uh, remember that multiplication so under multiplication j3 does not form a group so on j3 j3 does not form a group sorry for my handwriting group under multiplications so which multiplication that we defined in our table so under this multiplication j3 does not form a group so i want to just some give some observations and some note over here so we find first what we have found out so we say that if we define so what we have find till now so just let me write it down just erase me it all at first then we will talk about what we find till now uh, about the congruence class so start from the first what we get so we first first we have the set of in z the set of all integers it's so on going on in this way minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 that is the set of integers and we defined a uh, relations are which is if i define relation because it is a relation it's a subset of z or the subset of z cross z yeah it's a subset of z cross z so it's a collection of all other pairs so it's a b and a b are integers and a minus b is divisible so it's divisible by Three. So in this way, we find out uh, the composition. So we uh, find out that R is a uh, equivalence relation. So we find out R is an equivalence relations. Next, from that equivalence relations, we find out that we have only only three equivalence distinct equivalence class, which are zero bar, one bar, and two bar and we just separate out and we just take the collection of all these distinct class and we write it as j3 and we define two composition j plus 
and under which a tree becomes a commutative group. So, this becomes a commutative group and we seen that J3 and we define the multiplications which does not form a group us form a group. So, now what do you think if I just change the relation. So, instead of so I just change the relation. So, what we do so look over here. So, just first it is the part to what we have. So, here we write that a minus b is divisible by 3 instead of that if I just do it that a minus b is divisible by 4. What happened? Do you think uh, this does uh, do the same thing that starts with 3? Just pause the video and think about it. You pause the video, just pause the video and think about it. Okay, come back. So, if you just think about it, you can also check that for that we get the equivalence class. We have only four equivalence class, four distinct equivalence class, sorry. There are several equivalence class, but only four distinct equivalence class, which are, so which are 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar and also here we get 3 bar. And if I write J4, the collection of this distinct equivalence class 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar, 3 bar and the additions we define for J3, similar way we define the additions, we will see that J4 plus will form again a commutative group. This will again form a commutative group and also you check that J4, J4 if we just define the multiplication we define for J3 does not form a group, does not form a group. Okay. So, similar way we do, do it when we define the composition, uh, sorry, we define the relations and by the A minus B is divisible by 4 instead of 4. If we write 5, we get the 5 equivalence class. So, when we write 5, we get uh, 5 distinct equivalence class, which are just let me erase that out first. So, for 5, what we get? So, basically, we get the equivalence class will be 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar, 3 bar, 4 bar. So, that is all the 5 distinct equivalence class, and similar thing will be. Uh, done for this equivalence uh, class with, with this equivalence classes. So, what we how how we find that there will be the four equivalence class? Basically, what we are doing if we have any integers, so instead of five, if we have just five, what we do if we have any integers, if I divided it by five, so how many remainder we get? So, any integers, if I if we have any integers, any integers, any integers. When divided, when it divided, uh, when it divided by 5, how many remainder we get? We get the remainders 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. There will be no other remainder for 5. Similar, that is why for this remainder 0, we get actually the equivalence class 0, 1. For the remainder 1, we get the equivalence class 1 bar. For the remainder 2, we get the equivalence class of 2 bar. So, if I have 250, if I divide 250 by 5, so what we get? 1, no, it will be 2, so we get 10, 20 and 4, 20. So, we get the remainder 0. So, actually 120 bar will be same with 0 bar. So, what we basically do? So, we for any integers, we are taking the how many remainder will be there. So, from remainder, we will get the equivalence class. So, for 6, so if I divided any integers by 6, how many remainder will we get? Obviously, we get the 6 remainder 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
And from that remainder, so you will be get the five, uh, six existing equivalence class. Zero bar, one bar, two bar, three bar, four bar, five bar. So if we have any integers, so suppose 315. So 315 bar will be same as when 315 is divided by 6. So if I divided 315 by 6, what we get? So divided 315 by 6, what we get? So just divided it by 6. So 315, 5, we get 30, 15, 2 and it will get 2 and we get 3. So the, because remainder we get the remainder 3, so 315 bar will be same with 3 bar. So in this way we will work with the congruence classes and we will see that. So if I instead of 5, if I take any integer, so just let me uh, rewrite the just first, let me erase the uh, whole thing over from here. So all thing from here so I am taking your time for erasing so all these parts but I am sorry for that I have to go through all this process so what we do so here also we have to erase the part so instead of uh, 5 6 7 so we take any integers k so for that r also becomes an equivalence class and we get so how many remainder we get sorry we will get for any integer divisible by 5 gives the remainder 0, 1, 2, 3 up to k minus 1. So, because we get the k remainder, so similarly we get the k distinct equivalence class 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar in this way we get k minus 1 bar. So, if I write the set zk, so with the collection of all equivalent, distinct equivalence class when it's divided by from the relation so k minus 1 bar so this become a set and j k under the operations class will form a commutative group so it's a commutative group so for we have already do it for k equals to 3 k equals to 4 so, k equals to 3, we get the set z3 plus 3. For k equals to 4, we get z4 plus 4. So, in this way, so zk plus k will be form a commutative group. And zk under multiplication does not form a group. Does not form a group. Okay, so that's, we have to work with the congruence class. I hope you understand all this thing about congruence class.